Hey guys, so I thought I would make a, um, I hope that's really not that jittery, um, a quick video. As you can see, I am in a completely new, um, environment, <laughs> background, um, I have moved, right now I'm staying with a family from church, so, um, it helps financially with me, um, since I haven't had a job in two years, and, um, I'm not alone, which, um, I can't really live alone anymore, so, it works out, um, it's really weird having to give up a lot of my freedom, um, there's a lot of deer that play out here. <laughs> it's slightly terrifying. Um, but, um, it's, it's definitely taking some getting used to. It's been a couple days, and, um, I know the first night, or the first full day I was here, I moved in Sunday. And Monday, I didn't get back here until, like, almost 8 o'clock at night, and, they kind of freaked out a little. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it's been crazy. I am so tired. Um, I don't have any energy. My heart rate has been um, the lower 30s. So that's really um, concerning to a degree. Um, so, yeah. Monday morning, I went to the doctor, um, just to my general practitioner. It was my follow-up from the time before, since I missed my appointment last week. And, um, fake plant. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I went to see um, Dr. McCracken. He is amazing. Um, he really is. And it was really funny because like my appointment was at 9.30 in the morning. And um, my heart rate was 30 that morning. Which, obviously, um, you don't really get much perfusion to the head and so you get really tired. Um, but I, I'm pretty used to it, I, it takes usually a couple of days if I start one of these episodes before I, um, get enough energy or I can do things normally, and, um, so I was kind of like, because my heart rate's been so low, normally it's not this low, if it drops it'll be the upper 30s, um, lower 40s. And so I'm sitting there in the waiting room, and I'm literally, like, and it's been happening now for, like, a week. So I'm, I'm getting pretty used to this. But I'd just be sitting there, and all of a sudden I was just kind of, like, you know, passing out from it. Um, and the thing was, this weekend I had to move. And so I refused to call the cardiologist on call or go to the hospital like I'm supposed to. Um, but I did watch it, and, um... A bunch of my friends are paramedics, and they um, monitored me as well, make sure I was still doing okay. And um, the nurse comes out to get me, and she's like, Jessica, you look exhausted. And I was just like, no, I really actually have a lot of energy <laughs> compared to, you know, what I had had. And um, she was just like, maybe you should set up an afternoon appointment. And I was like, no, really, I've been up since 6 a.m. You know, it's it's fine. So, I mean, I didn't say anything about my heart rate or anything. I I started passing out while they were waiting. You know, that was fun. Um, I sat down. She goes to get my blood pressure, and my blood pressure is like 91 over something. And she looks at me, and she goes... I think I would be um, unconscious if my heart rate was, you know, 37 right now. She said, no wonder you're so tired. 
And I was just like, well, it was 30 this morning, and I've had, you know, like, three bottles of soda. Um, so I'm doing pretty well, actually. <laughs> and she was just flabbergasted. And I have my um, heart monitors that have all my um, heart rate data on it. So I showed him, and he was just, yeah. Um, so he sent me to get blood work because he wanted to check and make sure my liver enzymes were coming down um, and everything because I can't take any type of medicine right now I'm completely not allowed like so like um, the Celexa to you know calm the nervous system um, if I was to need a beta blocker I can't take it I can't take any of my magnesium or potassium um, I can't take any of my allergy medicines, like, it's pretty bad, so we were hoping that it was trending down, and it was just going to be, um, some sort of reaction to the medicine was what had, you know, has upset my liver, um, so he sent me to get lab work, oh, we also talked about a pacemaker, um, and he really, he's, I'm sure we'll talk about it again, but he he really wants me to consider getting a pacemaker. Um, just so I could get some sort of quality of life back, because um, my heart rate, when it drops, I really can't do anything. Um, so, he also sent me on a task to, um, he called the cardiologist office in town. And they agreed to see me Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. And I was also supposed to call Baptist and talk to the cardiologist there to let him know what's going on. Excuse me, I have a hiccup really bad. <laughs> um, and so that's what I did. I am not answering that phone. <laughs> um, if, if it's the people I'm staying with, they'll call my cell phone. Um, so, lab work, um, he didn't call me Monday afternoon. Um, he told me it would take a day because a lot of it was send off labs because he was um, testing for um, like hepatitis A, B, and C. And so Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. I was at the cardiologist's office. went to the cardiologist at 8 a.m. and um, I just, I love Dr. Fox, my cardiologist in Boone. Um, my heart rate was only like 34 in their office um, when she did the EKG and she was just like, oh my gosh, my blood pressure was borderline low um, and I was just like, I've had caffeine this morning. Uh, <laughs> bright and early had caffeine and so he asked what was going on because he hasn't seen me working at the hospital and he said that he knows I'm sick when he doesn't see me for you know six weeks at the hospital um, and it starts making him really concerned and so I kind of filled him in with what was going on with my liver. And um, about that time, his nurse comes in and brings the lab work from Monday. And um, it wasn't good. Not good at all. Um, I, I he, he looked at it and he was like, oh my gosh. And I was just like, what? You know, do I want to even know? Um... And I had my medical records with me, so we had the previous lab work. And so we sat there and we compared it. And my lab and my lab and my um, kidney function is still very low. Um, so my kidneys are not working the way they should. They're not filtering out um, stuff. Let me say stuff. Um, but, like, 
so my potassium is rising, which normally I have low potassium, so I mean it's a good thing I'm not taking my supplements um, right now. Um, my I tested negative for any for hepatitis A, B, or C. So that was good um, to a degree. We still have no answers. Um, I don't have viral hepatitis. My white count's dropping. Um, I have, they did a GGT lab test, um, and I learned, I have never even heard of that. Um, but apparently it indicates if there's liver damage or not. And mine was high. So there is liver damage, and it's used to determine if it's, um, damage through, like, alcohol consumption, which I don't drink, um, or, like, congestive heart failure can do it, so if you have heart problems, which, <laughs> hi guys, <laughs> I think we all do to a degree, you know, um, but that could be causing problems. So, it has to be watched. But my liver enzymes have gone um, from normal, you know, is anywhere between 20 and, I'd say 50. Well, let's just say 20 and 50 is normal. Um, two weeks ago, I was in the 150s for both my liver enzymes. My AST and my ALT were both in the 150s. Um, as of Monday's lab work, I was in the 980s. So not even two weeks later, I've had a drastic <laughs> increase. And so, I mean, I haven't taken any medicines or anything. Um, so that's very concerning. On top of that, everyone keeps reminding me not to take medicines. And I'm just like, I, I'm, I've got that, thanks. But, um... It didn't really occur to me until Dr. Fox told me that. He was just like, no, you really do not take any type of mess. And he goes, you don't even need to take Zofran. He goes, you should not take anything. No Zofran, no. And then I'm going, I, I need my Zofran because that's really what's keeping or allowing me to eat. I can take it in the morning and I get really nauseous. Um, I can't sit up straight. Um, I can't stand straight. I can't lay. I have to curl in a ball. Like, I can't stretch my stomach because my liver is swollen and my abdomen is swollen. And so it just gets too tight and then I get really nauseous and the pain gets unbearable. And then I start puking and it's, it's really a mess. Um, 